No. Yes. Hey. Yes. It's magic. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. So, the friends. I have loose skin. I currently have belly fat that I'm working on getting rid of. Also, I am super, super bloated because I'm on my period. So, it's the perfect day to show you guys how I hide my belly when I'm dealing with that kind of stuff. Here's some tips. First, the first thing I wanted to show you guys was mid-rise jeans. Mid-rise jeans used to be super popular and I used to wear them all the time and what I realized is when you have a belly, they hit you right at the worst spot. So no matter what kind of top you wear, no matter if you suck in, you don't suck in, your belly is showcased by that. So high waist is perfect because it pulls your belly in and up and it sits right at the naturally smallest part of your waist and it highlights the smaller part of your body. Everyone has a smaller part of their waist and that's what high rise does. The bonus with high rise is it pulls your butt up too. It gives it a little lift. <laughs> that's a tip. High rise is much better than any of the other rises out there. And if there is ultra high rise, which is what these are, I go for that as well. I find that it also helps me with my loose skin. So I still get a little bit of showage here, but it really hides it because it pulls it in and up. Like I said, in and up is what you want. And now I want to show you about baggy shirts. Especially when I was really heavy at almost 300 pounds, I used to think wearing baggy clothes would hide all my bits and pieces. But I learned over the years that actually it was making me look bigger. Um, if you see here, when I have a baggy shirt, it, it kind of like glides over my stomach and it shows my belly. It makes you look wider and it points out the parts that are sticking out basically. However, when you tuck it in, it again shows off the naturally smaller portion of everyone's waist. And now you have a definable shape, I can see. And it accentuates my curves because I, I like the curves here, I just don't like them this way. It now makes me look slimmer instantly just by tucking in my shirt. No matter what size it was, I learned, even though it was uncomfortable when I was really heavy to tuck my shirt in, it made me look way smaller than when I had a loose shirt. And that brings me to baggy shirts versus form fitting. I always used to wear baggy shirts or I would like, you know, leave them un untucked and I always found that it again showcased my stomach, it made it look wider, bigger. So now this is a baggy shirt and I'm going to show you what the difference of a form fitting shirt for me. So baggy and now we'll do form fitting and form fitting and see again how it actually accentuates the my curves and the smaller portion of my waist and it doesn't make my stomach look bigger it actually makes me look smaller and i only discovered form fitting versus baggy when i was halfway through the journey i wish i would have known about form fitting when i was bigger because no matter what size it it always makes me look smaller. When I'm lean, when I'm bloated, form-fitted, always makes me look smaller. Okay, so form-fitting also applies to dresses. I find when I wear the baggy dresses, like the shift dresses or the shirt dresses, anything that's really baggy, it again shows my loose skin and my stomach more than when I wear form-fitting. What I learned though, if I could buy this form-fitted dress again, I would buy the stripes going the other way because it actually goes with, they're going with my stomach and they're making my stomach stick out more. 
So how we make my stomach look smaller in a second is with the Spanx kind of undergarments. This one I got for $14 at La Vie en Rose and it'll instantly pull in and up my loose skin and it'll make this form-fitted dress look even better and it'll show off my curves and make my belly look smaller. So this is what it looks like from the side without the spankies and from the front without the spanks. And this is what it looks like with them on. It literally looks like I lost like five to 10 pounds just by putting those on and by wearing a form-fitted dress. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Patterns also disguise bits and pieces that you don't want. So um, this is a leopard print dress. And another tip is if you don't feel super comfortable with the form fitted, which I didn't at certain parts of my journey. And sometimes on really bloaty days like today, I don't like form fitted either. So I learned a different style of dress. You can wear a looser dress. Now this dress, I made the mistake thinking because it was a bit looser, it would hide my belly fat. However, it goes straight up and down. And any girl with curves and belly fat, like me, should have known a straight dress would bing, go right to my belly, even with the pattern. So, I learned about empire waist dresses. What's awesome about them, about those, them, um, is that they showcase the smallest part of your waist, your natural small part, and then at the bigger part, it goes out, so it covers your belly. So let's show it. And there we go. So now the attention is totally off my stomach because my eye is drawn up here to the smaller part of my waist and it's flowing out at the perfect point to hide my loose skin, to glide over my stomach. Ta-da! Floating is gone! Like this! Kyle and I off camera were just saying like, this video doesn't just apply to women, but any girl can use this. Every girl gets bloated, but also men, like Kyle used to wear baggy clothes too, and then realized no matter what size he was, form fit, it always made him look smaller. I, I was under the impression that I could hide, so I thought bigger's better with my clothes, when it was the opposite. At any mm -hmm. size that I was, it would have been a better option to get my actual size and get form fitting, whether it's even just a t-shirt looks a heck of a lot better on a guy if it's fitted. Exactly. So these tips will apply to everyone. You want to accentuate your good parts, then like, you know, like this dress does, flow over your not so favorite parts. And then it flatters your whole body versus pointing out the parts, bits and pieces that stick out no matter what you do. So, hope you enjoyed this. Check us out on Instagram at the Colette. You seeing Kylie Bear in his new golden hair, Goldilocks. You're seeing <laughs> Hank. You're seeing us. We're leaning out right now and you can see what we're eating. We can see your cardio in. Get there at the Colette. And don't forget to like and subscribe. What? Or what? The duck, <laughs> the duck walk up game. Quack, quack. What's where did you come up with that in here somewhere? We're doing legs today, and the duck walk is a good warm up. Oh, okay. You, there is a method to your madness. <laughs> Watch this. Whoa, shoulder. Thanks for watching. Love you. Peace. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.